Hello everyone and welcome back to another Tech Bytes review. Today we are going to be looking at the Logitech MX Ergo Trackball Mouse. Now Logitech markets this as an upgrade to the M570 mouse, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. It's kind of been the only trackball around for a, for a very long time. Um, this one does bring about quite a few new changes. Uh, Bluetooth functionality, tilt support for your wrist, all kinds of different things. So we have plenty to talk about. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Let's kick this review off as usual with a discussion on the build quality. Now, as I'm sure you can tell from the video, this is a very solid mouse. Uh, the, uh, it comes with a metal plate, which is removable. It's held on by magnets um, on the back end, uh, which really gives it a lot of solid weight. But the plastic alone, just the, the case itself, is very durable, appears to be uh, PBT. I don't see any shine, so I'm not thinking it's ABS, um, but it's a very sturdy plastic. Uh, the top part, it doesn't come out in the video, but it is it is a little squishy almost, um, which does leave a little bit of hand sweat and whatnot, but uh, it is very comfortable to grip. Um, so as far as the, the feel of the mouse in your hand, it, it has some really nice weight to it. Um, so just from a, a durability standpoint, I mean, alone, the, the mouse is, is phenomenal to, to hold in your hand. Um, now let's cover a few other things when I'm sure you're, you're noticing the box here. I do have two of these. The first one ran into some switch issues, um, after about a year and a half of use, which unfortunately is common with this particular type of Omron switch, uh, that Logitech uses in their mice. Um, this is how it comes packaged. It's very nice, sleek packaging, um, standard for, for Logitech, especially for their, their more premium, uh, MX Ergo line. Um, what is the overall quality like from a, a scroll wheel standpoint, button click, uh, ball standpoint? Um, we'll start with the ball. Now, as I'm sure many of you have noticed when looking at the original packaging, the mouse comes from the factory with this gray ball. Um, you'll notice that on mine, which is my daily driver, I have replaced it with the M570 ball. That is because, and this was almost a deal breaker for me, the ball that comes from the factory, this, this gray ball that you see on the box here, is terrible. It is the scratchiest trackball I think I've ever used. And I've used a lot of really cheap knockoff brand trackballs and this was by far the worst. Uh, luckily, I collect a lot of these things and I had an M570 sitting around, I popped the ball in and everything has been just buttery smooth since then. I mean, I, I, I cannot tell you it's orders of magnitude better to pop in the M570 ball than to, to keep with the, uh, with the track ball that, that comes with it. That gray one, it, it, it's just awful. I've seen a lot of people review the mouse and say the same thing, so I, I know I'm not alone here. Um, but once, once that upgrade is in place, whether you use an old M570 or whether you upgrade it with, uh, with any ball that you find online, it's, it's a problem that is relatively cheap to fix. And once you fix that, you have a, a really nice mouse in front of you. So to continue the, the build quality review, um, let's go ahead and talk about the buttons. Uh, these are Omron switches for the left and right mouse click uh, buttons here. They feel just as snappy and, and crisp as you would expect. This one has been in use for about a year and they feel just as good as they did out of day one. Um, Another thing, if we look at the forward backward buttons, these are not Omron. I'm sure they're just some cheap switch that they have. They do feel pretty mushy. Uh, it's, it's not a great feel, not like the old M570 was where they had a nice click to them. These are much more of a, a mushiness and you can see they're, they're kind of flush up next to the mouse. Um, this back one almost has no click at all. It's, it's just, it's just not a great experience for those, but luckily they're, they're not, at least in my, for my use, not core, core buttons that I use. Uh, they do have a DPS switch here on the side, which is a nice feature. Personally, all it does is it really slows the trackball down to about half speed. I, I, I think it goes from like a 600 to a 300. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have much use for it unless I'm editing videos or something and I'm, I'm trying to drag. I might click it so that way the ball slows down and I'm not zooming all over the screen, but it's just not a heavily used button for me. Uh, it again is the same switch as the forward and backward. Not a great feel, but again, doesn't make or break the mouse for me personally. Um, we do have left and right scroll, um, or at least tab over with the, uh, with the scroll wheel here. Scroll is up and down. Obviously you have your middle mouse click. Uh, pretty standard features for a mouse, nothing crazy here. Uh, there is a Bluetooth option for this, which is fantastic if you have a laptop. I 
personally don't use it. I just use the uh, the 2.4 gigahertz dongle that comes with it. Um, but it does have Bluetooth as an option. You can have both, I, th I believe, um, one computer to the dongle and then another with Bluetooth so you could have up to two devices on this mouse, which is a great feature. Now the 2.4 gigahertz dongle is a bit of an interesting one. Uh, let's go ahead and flip this over and take a look at the back. If you recall on the M570, there was a, a battery compartment on the back uh, and it had a little slot in order to put that dongle so it made the perfect travel mouse. This isn't there. Uh, this has a built-in battery uh, for better or for worse. There are no more uh, replaceable uh, battery options for this particular model. Um, but there is no slot to stick that 2.4 gigahertz dongle, so you're left just carrying up. That's why mine's not with the mouse right now. It's uh, you know it's floating around somewhere. Hopefully I'll find it again later. Um, but it, it still has the switch to power it on and off. Another thing, on the M570, you used to be able to stick your pinky into the hole to pop the ball out to clean it. Unfortunately, the only way to do that now is to get a pencil and actually stick it in there to pop the ball out. It's beyond annoying. Um, it's, it's, really, it's really a pain. Again, to me, just given the overall quality of the mouse, it's, it's not a deal breaker, but it does kind of suck having to, uh, having to keep at least a pencil or a pen next to you and just an extra thing to worry about. Uh, aside from that, though, you're left with a really solid mouse. Now, one of the other big selling points of this mouse, one that I know many people um, have, uh, have loved and, and commented on in the past previously is that it has a tilt functionality. So if I just tilt the mouse like that, you can see it puts your hand at a really nice 20 degree angle here. Um, and, and I find it very comfortable. I will say after prolonged use, uh, and by prolonged use, I mean a matter of weeks, right? So after using this, uh, this is my daily driver. So after using it in this form for, for about I don't know, four or five weeks. I do find that my wrist starts to get a little tired of it, so I'll just click it back down and use it kind of in a normal mouse uh, form here. And it's it's much, it's just nice to have options. Uh, and because of that, I don't find myself switching the mouse out for others uh, when my wrist gets sore. Um, this little track on the right here as well is fantastic. It holds your pinky uh, and you can see, I actually have a tape measure here. I don't have the largest hands, but I also don't have the smallest hands uh, from the tip of my middle finger to kind of the base of my wrist. I'm somewhere at about seven and a half inches. Uh, now, what that looks like on the mouse for somebody with seven and a half inch hands is pretty nice. You can see it, it covers from end to end, completely fits it. I mean, really, I've never had a mouse that just fit my hand like a glove. They've always been either way too big or way too small, but I, I mean, this is just perfect, especially with the way that your pinky rests there. It's, I, I've never, I keep coming back to it. There's a reason, there's a reason through, you know, all of the, the perceived negatives, like no, no replaceable batteries. I have to use a pencil to pop the, uh, the ball out. You have to get a new ball to begin with. All of that I'm willing to put aside because of just how comfortable this thing is. I mean, it, it really is fantastic. Um, so uh, in summary, if we were to wrap up build quality, I would say it's, it's flawed, absolutely. I mean, the fact that the ball that it comes with just flat out sucks is uh, is probably the the biggest issue, especially when you're paying upwards of seventy to eighty dollars for this mouse. I mean, it, it, come on, you know. But if you can get a good ball in there, and you have hands that are similar to mine, uh, size wise, I, I honestly, it, this is the only mouse I keep coming back to. Now, real quickly, I'm sure many of you are wondering how this compares to the M570. That's what many people are probably coming from if you're considering this. I do have one for comparison. Uh, you can see the, the tilt, if you were to tilt this at the 20 degrees, is much more extreme than the tilt on the M570. This is them, about as flush as I can get it on the camera. Um, you can see I've moved the, uh, the trackball over, as I said earlier. Uh, from the top, they're very similar in design. This one has a bit more of a, a pronounced uh, index finger uh, marker here, but for the most part, they're, they're similar. Uh, this one just has a much wider side here. And if you wanted to see that next to the brand new M575, which is the replacement of the M570, this is it right here as well. So again, these two are going to be very similar. They're not textured and grippy on top like the M570. Um, they, they just generally don't have near as much. You can see my hand has to rest on the desk in order to fit comfortably on there. Not the case at all whenever I do this. My pinky is still hovering above. So these, again, are almost too small with the, the way that they have that, uh, that curvature on the side. But the, the 
MX Ergo, like I said, is the one I keep coming back to just because it, if you have larger hands, again, mine are seven and a half inches, it fits perfectly. Now, in terms of longevity and what you can expect out of this mouse in terms of uh, the lifespan, I can only speak to the one that I had previously, but it was at about 1.5 years, about one and a half years before the uh, the right mouse switch uh, unfortunately began to fail. That is, again, if, if the trend holds true, most of your Logitech mice are going to experience something like that just due to the, the Omron switches that they're using. So in summary, using this mouse has been extremely satisfying. I, I know I mentioned quite a few quirks uh, in terms of just the ball. We have some mushy buttons over here, these three in particular. No stellar features jumping out. I mean, yes, the tilt is nice. Bluetooth is great if you use it. I personally don't. Um, nothing super noteworthy other than the fact that it's just a nice, sturdy, stable mouse. The design itself and the way that it fits my hand is by far the biggest selling point. I mean, yes, the metal plate is nice. Yes, it looks great. Yes, it's wireless. It's rechargeable. All those things are, are nice, but nothing really sets it apart from other mice that are out there. I mean, you still have the M570s and the M575s if you're looking for that, and those are much cheaper. The biggest selling point for this is absolutely the way it fits your hand. It, for me, it's just, it's like a glove. Um, so if you have larger hands, absolutely go for it. If you don't have larger hands, I don't know that I would recommend this. I would say go with an M570. You get those for 25 bucks off of Amazon right now. That concludes today's review of the Logitech MX Ergo. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you liked or disliked down in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please be sure to subscribe. It helps me out a lot and lets me know that you're enjoying the content. Uh, I do try to make a video at least once a week. Uh, right now, schedule is a little tight, so I'll probably stick a little closer to the one a week. But I do have plans for other series upcoming aside from just the reviews. So thanks again for watching.